so here we see that we define two limits so left hand limit so left hand limit is fx so limit x tends to a from negative side okay so from the number line if this is a so we are approaching from this side and right hand limit so right hand limit is limit f of x x tends to a from the other side from the right hand side okay so this is again x is approaching towards a and it is coming closer and closer but not becoming a okay so we say that limit f of x x tends to a exists if and only if if limit x tends to a minus f of x is equal to limit x tends to a plus f of x both are same then the limit exists okay and if this is the same value and equal to l we say this is the limit and in fact f of a need not be equal to l so need not be it may be but need not be okay so in our previous example even if f of x was equal to 3 here then also the limit would have been 3 but if it is 0, minus 1, whatever else, then also the limit will be 3. Because that is what the fx is tending to. We will look at another problem. And this one is that does the limit always exist? So find limit so x tends to 0 for fx and where f of x is equal to 1 x is less than equal to 0 equal to 2 x is greater than 0 ok so if we plot this so it is fx is 1 x is less than equal to 0 so this is the thing and for x is greater than 0 it is 2 ok so this is y is equal to 2 this is y is equal to 1 and this is 0 ok so in this what we see now so limit f of x x tends to 0 from negative side left hand side so if we are coming from this side towards 0 so we see that the value is approaching so it is approaching 1 ok so this is 1 but limit f of x x tends to 0 plus is what so if we are approaching from this side so the limit is 2 hence we find that limit f of x x tends to 0 minus is not equal to limit f of x x tends to 0 plus hence limit does not exist ok so the limit does not exist for this given function at x is equal to 0 but if I ask you that ok limit f x x tends to 2 so will it exist so now if this is 1 this is 2 so at 2 what happens the left hand limit is 2 and the right hand limit is also 2 so it exists because limit fx x tends to 2 minus is equal to limit fx x tends to 2 plus so this is both is equal to 2 
so for x is equal to 2 the limit exists okay so we try some more examples for limit of piecewise function okay piecewise function so let's have one function which is something like f of x is equal to x minus 2 x is less than 0 0 if x is equal to 0 and x plus 2 if x is greater than 0 so when you get a problem so first try to plot the graph so the graph of this function so let's have for y is equal to x minus 2 x is less than 0 so this will be so when x is equal to 0 so what happens so when x is less than 0 so it is basically at x is equal to 0 this is y is equal to minus 2 x is equal to 0 so 0 and minus 2 0 minus 2 and when y is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 so y is equal to 0 x is equal to 2 so this is the function y is equal to x minus 2 for x is less than 0 and here there is no it's not included then x plus 2 y is equal to x plus 2 x is greater than 0 so when x is equal to 0 y is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 2 so 0 comma 2 so 0 comma 2 and minus 2 y is equal to 0 minus 2 okay so it's something like a line parallel to this one so this is y is equal to x plus 2 now the thing is at x is equal to 0 the function is 0 okay now we want to find the limit of this so limit f of x as x tends to 0 from left hand side so we are approaching from this side and value is becoming equal to minus 2 so this is equal to minus 2 limit f of x as x tends to 0 from right hand side so if we are coming closer to this one so this is something like 2.1 2.2 and it's coming closer to 2 so this is 2 so we see that okay limit of left hand side and right hand side are not equal so limit does not exist here also okay so this was about limit of a function okay so basically it meant that okay we are approaching some number x and we find that okay is the fx also approaching some number l if it is then we say that okay the limit is l and we saw with several examples and we also saw that okay the left hand limit should be equal to the right hand limit then only the limit in totality exists so i hope you understand the concept of limit thanks a lot